Hi guys, you're watching Techie Rahul and today I did something special with my Moto A3 power. I upgraded it into Nougat. Yes, you heard right, I'm not baffling about this one. I really upgraded my Moto A3 power from Marshmallow to Nougat. So this is how the Nougat looks. Actually, this is a reselection ROM, which is a custom ROM made from a developer. This is the lock screen. This is how the notification bar looks. And before installing this ROM, you need to unlock your device. Which, uh, if you want me to make a separate video on it, then uh, comment in down in the section below. This is how our notification bar looks, and this is how the app drawer looks. Let's move into the settings, and I have to say that these this ROM is actually working more smoothly than the original official ROM, which is consists of the Marshmallow. It's more smooth and flexible. So you can see here Android version 7.1.1 and uh, nothing more much uh, fancy over here so let's move out and uh, let's move into these are the quick toggles the best feature which I love in Nomoto in this uh, Nougat ROM data usage uh, and uh, battery you can interchange the places uh, also the notification about the battery and the battery life which I was getting in this uh, using this room is uh, was far better than the official room I don't know why and how but uh, it's uh, interesting to see that the custom room can give battery backup better than the official one and uh, nothing much more fancy move uh, into more and uh, threatening and portable hotspot uh, nothing much uh, new here that's uh, so this is the new feature which we get using this ROM is that the multi screen which is awesome because Moto A3 power doesn't have that and uh, we get this feature in the high end devices only so you can see this is how the multi screen looks I can open any of the things apps which I want and as you can see like I opened Wi-Fi if I will double click on that uh, bar then the recent and then the last app which I opened gets opened like I can show you in this multi screen and when I open a new app then it uh, get opened in the second screen this is how the dialog looks contact messaging battery and the battery saver is also present there so that's interesting and nice to see that feature you can literally customize this OS uh, um, so you can literally customize this OS a lot uh, than you think like uh, I'm changing uh, like you can add this location in that uh, quick toggles one and there are many much more new things which you can add uh, which are not seen in the normal rooms is this a pulse navigation bar app click bar recording NFC is given but it's not supported music USB tethering there's multiple things you can uh, add and disable in that uh, notification panel That uh, reboot the logo. You can use this uh, also. It's too smooth. So the adaptive brightness works. It means the ambient light sensor is working. All the sensors are working here. I am able to make calls also live display this is the new feature down here and uh, nothing much more new here the cast screen is also present here wake on plug and the cast is uh, present which was not present before let's move into storage so 3.37 GB is being used by this OS I haven't installed any apps till now and I don't know why this SD card uh, 0 corrupted is written 
but uh, SD card is working fine. This is how the soundbar looks. Nothing much uh, new here. So the double tap on the camera is working. Double switch on the power button will open up the camera. So it's working fine. And the memory free here, let's see, is uh, free is 1.3 gigabyte out of the 2 gig gigabyte of uh, RAM. Two gestures are there. Jump to camera, double tap to sleep. From here too. You can add a guest also. So all that stockish feature is uh, available here. So guys, thank you for watching. This is Techie Rahul, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. And